was your favorite moment on the court out of these events? Winning regionals on our home court was pretty cool. Yep, whenever everything <laughs> came out on, court, on the court, I kind of got trampled, which was kind of fun, but it was cool. <laughs> yeah. I got pushed into a cameraman, so he put his hand on my back and held me up, so it was awkward, nice good and awkward. <laughs> good and awkward. All right, um, kind of similar question. What was your favorite moment that was off the court, maybe in the locker room, bus, just at school with your team? Um, my favorite moment was when we won sectionals and regionals, and we chanted, I believe that we have won on the bus and recorded it. Yeah, the bus ride around town was pretty cool. I think the fireworks were probably the best part of it. Because we were surprised coming home from sectionals. We didn't know that they were. I didn't know. Very nice. All right. Um, is there anything that you guys would have changed? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Just going with the flow. Yep. All right. Um, Throughout the course of the season, obviously there's growth within each player and within the team, but do you think that, specifically with these events, do you think that there was a growth that you can see there just because of those events? I just think our team bonded better together when we had the support of, we were always bonded well like throughout the season, but winning sectionals and regionals was just really cool, and it's something that hadn't been done in a while, so. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, one more question, guys. Uh, what was the most critical ingredient to your success? Teamwork and playing well together. I think slowing down our offense and like looking uh, for our teammates more. Okay. One. One more question. What's the capital of Vermont? I'm kidding. Um. Uh, okay, um, my favorite part was probably after we won Rachel's on our home court. I would definitely say beating Central, beating Benton Central on our home court, beating number one team. I'd say it's beating number one and two. All right. Um, next question, what was your favorite moment that was off the court? Maybe in the locker room, maybe on the bus? At school. <laughs> um, my favorite was when the camera crews came in to interview us and Alexa Holland uh, <laughs> told how we pranked Randy. <laughs> oh yeah, what was in the prank? In front of everyone. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> we TP'd his house oh. and he didn't know about it and we put underwear on his door. <laughs> okay. um, is there anything that you would have changed? We have day on I mean, I think after every season that you look back on things and you think, wow, I wish I could have done better here and there. But, I mean, as a whole, I think we had a really good season, so there's not a lot I would say that we had to work on. Right. Uh, just a couple more questions, guys. Um, you know, throughout the course of a season, there's obviously growth and improvement throughout it, and that's you can see that. But do you think that you've had, like, a specific growth within just being able to do the sectionals and the regionals and the semi-state? Do you think that your team has grown that, or that you've personally grown through that experience? We've grown um, closer together. Yeah, yeah, I think our whole team, like, throughout, because we started off really well, obviously, and then we, like, kind of hit a rough patch, but then after that, we, like, came even closer together, and that's when sectional started, and that's when we kind of made our run. So I think we became more confident with each other and confident in ourselves that, you know, we'll do make the right play, we'll finish the shot, we can do this, we can do that. So I think that definitely helped the team aspect of, like, being bonding and closer. Um, last question, guys. What do you think was the most critical ingredient to your success? Mm. Working together? Yeah, for sure. Yep. Communication. Favorite moment? On the court. Uh, probably when we beat Benton Central, just because they were number one, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I think getting to experience that as a freshman was a great experience, especially to beat the number one and number two teams. I'll move on to the next question. Okay, what was your favorite moment that was off the court? So like in the bus or locker room or wherever? <laughs> the bus. Well, locker room too because a doll that yeah. you had that we'd always shake before. Oh yeah. Mm. We had a doll. That was funny. And because we're really superstitious, so I had this doll and I made everyone shake it and I'd kiss it before it, <laughs> before every game. And then we just pass it around so easy I could put it back in my bag. <laughs> Why a doll? It's good luck. It's good luck charm. It was like it's a high like... basketball. Oh, okay. Well, like, yeah, so I was basketball. gonna say, was it just a random yeah. doll you guys <laughs> yeah. decided to keep around? <laughs> All right. Is there anything you would have changed? 
Huh. Nope. <laughs> Not a thing. No. <laughs> okay. Um, throughout the course of a season, you can obviously see like growth within the team or in individual players. But is there like a growth that you could see just in this past like couple of events that you guys had? Like, is there a certain like different mentality you guys took on? I think the team got a lot more confident with their shooting, especially like seen from the bench. It was just really fun to see them gain confidence throughout once we beat the number yeah. one and number two teams. Right on. Yeah. Right on. Yeah. All right. Uh, a couple more questions, guys. Uh, what was the most critical ingredient to your success, do you think? Probably mixing up our defenses all the time and our outside shooting. I feel like everyone working together because that really showed, like when you watch it, that they all knew to be there when someone needed them. Regional, semi-state. My favorite moment on the court was being at home playing regionals and getting ready to run out for our warm-ups and just seeing all of our fans, like everyone wearing black shirts and just up on their feet. Yeah, I'd have to say that's mine too because it was like crazy to hear the noise and stuff. Yeah. All right, and then I have a similar question, but what was your favorite moment that was off court? So kind of in the locker room, on the bus, or? Well, <laughs> we had a lot of sleepovers and team bonding stuff. That was pretty fun. Yeah, I'd have to say team being Randy. Yeah. Yeah, being we our had coach. An, other people said that too. We got a couple of details about <laughs> what you guys were up to. <laughs> um, is there anything that you guys would have changed? Honestly, no. We had an awesome season. We made it farther than most people expected us to, more than we expected us to. And even though we didn't pull semi-state out, it was an incredible season, and I will remember it forever. Yeah. I was happy just to be there. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, of course, throughout a season, you guys can see improvement within the team, within individual players. But I'm wondering, within like this past spiel of events, was there a certain growth that you Maturity. Know, just our maturity level. Everyone got so much older. With our freshmen played as sophomores, our sophomores played as juniors, and our juniors were playing as seniors, and we just all got a better bond together, and we just were more mature. All right, last question, guys. What was the most critical ingredient to your success? I think working together and just believing in each other. All right, I have one little surprise. It's kind of like an award ceremony, <laughs> and all I ask is you guys get certificates. When you get them, just read off what, what they now? say. Okay. <laughs> Here. Becky Malco. Becky Malco and Vanessa's Spanish class player. I like him best newly converted zebra that was in Vanessa's Spanish class for a semester. <laughs> okay, it says Keaton Sasek, the best player who went to Costa Rica, presented by Vanessa. Mine says Bailey Abbott, the best left handed Babbitt and senior player, <laughs> presented by Vanessa. <laughs> Kennedy Russell, the best player that actually answered Vanessa's questions last time she interviewed me. <laughs> best Piper child in general and the bas and on the basketball team. <laughs> Uh, mine is best future Ohio University student player. <laughs> best player that Vanessa has to apologize to for not knowing me well enough to come up with something funny. <laughs> best player that sits at Vanessa's lunch table. <laughs> best player that's Vanessa's neighbor that had a superhero moment. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Okay, at Semi State. There was this moment, and there were like two Valley people, and then you came out of literally nowhere and just like kicked the ball out. And it was so fantastic. I was jumping. Thanks. <laughs> okay, best player who deserves a better title, but because Vanessa doesn't really know me, it had to be this. <laughs> best player that was in the class that Vanessa peer tutored for. <laughs> All right, and you guys have awards, so just wait a sec. Yes! So that's what that was. That's I what that was about. Oh wait, you had one too. You had Sprite. You could have one. Okay, here. Thanks. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies.